Hey everybody, it's Jarrett here. Just wanted to go over the new WhiteSpark SEO report. Basically what WhiteSpark does every single year is it asks SEO experts around the country on what is the new ranking factors, what is important, what is less important, what isn't important anymore, like all these things. And so these local SEO experts, they test all year round to get good information for their clients, um, to supply, you know, tools and, and all these different things. And so what, what WhiteSpark does is bring all these experts together and say, hey, what do you see now in local search? And so what this video is going to talk about is the map listing, right? The local Google business profile map listing. Otherwise, it used to be known as Google business profile. And so we're going to go and look at some of the top things that they saw an increase for ranking in the local maps. And so if you own a business, if you own a tree care business, a plumbing business, a bee care company, I a junk removal business, whatever business that you own, it's important that you show up near the top of those Google map listings. 70%, 70% is usually the number that will, you know, people will find the service that they're looking for in that local map, especially if it's a telephone type of service. And so obviously it's super important for you to show up there. Um, not only that, but it's going to save you tons and tons of money, right? Um, and we all like to save money. It's going to save you tons of money from spending on ads, and, and being at the top and paying to be at the top and paying for clicks um, and not paying for clients, right? It's going to save you thousands upon thousands. It's probably saved me tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars over the last couple of years, just being able to make sure that my business is above everyone else's. And so we're going to share that with you. So stay tuned, watch it all the way to the end of the video and share something else with you guys at the end. And I hope this helps. Y'all have a great day. Okay, so since we're talking about local search, we're going to just focus on the Google business profile. What makes it rank? What are some of the top things that are the most important that you as a business owner should be concentrating on to make sure that, that your listing moves its way to the top? Now, according to the report from WhiteSpark, 32%, the 32%, which takes up the most ranking factor out of 100%, is the signals within the GPP itself. So what does that mean? Basically setting up your Google business profile correctly, right? Having the correct category that matches what your competitors are having, having the correct service area, uh, making sure that you're following Google policies, um, your photos, your reviews, your, your GBP post, your questions and answers, all of those things combined make up 32% of a ranking of the ranking factor for your Google map listing. So making sure that you are staying constant with that thing. I'm not talking about every single day, but make sure that you are constantly updating and constantly uh, making that part of your weekly thing to, to update your Google business profile and to keep it relevant, right? The second most important thing coming in at 19% is the actual on-page signals. And what do I mean by that? Is, you know, the website that your Google business profile points to, right? Now, so if you have a free website or if you're pointing to uh, a one-page landing site or if there's not a ton of information on your landing page, Google's going to have trouble really figuring out what your business does and where your, your um, business is located. Um, the more information that we can give Google search, the more information that it can can update and point those, you know, your map to where it needs to go. And so the signals that we send with that landing page are extremely important. So what services do you provide? What areas do you cover? Um, you know, what about you as a business? What are the key words that you should be showing up for? Those signals from that page are really, really important. Um, third is coming in is the link signals, right? Um, now, of course, you're going to jump to backlinks and say, oh, well, you know, I have th hundreds or thousands of backlinks pointing my site. Um, link, single, link signals are extremely important for your Google business profile, not pointing to your profile, but pointing to that landing page, right? And Google's going to look not only at the quality of those links, but also the, you know, what's the right word, I guess, the proximity or the relevance of those links, right? So if you have nothing but national links, or directory links pointing back to your landing page versus a business that has other local businesses pointing to them um, relative to that area or in that proximity. Um, other 
blog articles or related articles to that niche that are pointing back to them. Um, directories specific to that niche, whether, you know, if it's a junk removal directory or a tree service directory, whatever it may be, relative links pointing to that. And not only that, but local links, right? Local chamber of commerce, local businesses, local restaurants, local hotels, things like that, pointing back to that site. That's important, number three. And um, number four is basically your behavioral signals, right? Um, how often are you posting? Uh, is it natural? Things like that. What is the behavior of that listing? How often is it getting logged into? How often is it getting updated? Those are the really the top four. Um, and then it, it, it goes down to less relevant stuff that your average business owner probably doesn't have time or doesn't really need to deal with unless you're in a super, super competitive market. Okay, next we're going to talk about the local ranking factors that are important just for your GBP. So that this kind of falls into... Some of that 30% that we talked about, the, the actual having a optimized listing, um, and then goes into some of the other stuff. So these are the highest ranking factors that got voted in by the local SEO people, right? Um, one of the most important one is having the correct category. Now, um, this is a, can be a little tricky, especially if you have an older Google business profile, right? So you want to make sure that whatever that you whatever you do as a business – um, you have the correct category, right? Um, you know, so if you are a concrete construction company, right, um, and you do, you know, concrete floors or you do concrete patios or things like that, then you're going to be listed as a concrete contractor. But if you do epoxy flooring, things like that, you know, it's easy to say, oh, well, you know, I can fall into the concrete category, or I can fall into the flooring category. Well, what best describes you as a business, right? It would be that flooring category. And so that should be your primary category. So that is a huge factor in making sure that you show up when you're supposed to show up. Um, next is having the keywords in your business title, right? Um, on your website, in the title of your business, things like that is a, still a ranking factor. Um, another thing that is important, I think, and it always will be important, is the proximity to the searcher, right? So even if you are a service area business, Google records where, you know, that service area is, where, where is your central hub of that service area? Where did you get verified at? What address did you use? Um, and so making sure that your service areas are dialed in is extremely important because Google focuses on that, you know? So, if you are a service area business and you cover 300 miles out, it's going to be much more difficult to rank, you know, 300 miles away or 200 miles away or 100 miles away, especially if, you know, you're a you know, service contractor where it, it just doesn't make sense that you're going to drop so far out where a, another local business owner is going to be able to get that job. Right. So that's important. Um, the physical address of your business, right, where you're located in in comparison to where that person is searching. Um, and then, you know, getting rid of, you know, fake listings and spam listings and things like that um, is a great way to, you know, rank or getting rid of an old listing that has been around forever and that, that person's out of business and, and getting some of those things removed are important. Okay, so in the White Spark report, he goes over some noteworthy factors. And so I guess I'm going to share them with you and then you can always go in there and check them yourself. Uh, one of the things that really moved up that he saw was the sustained reviews. Basically, and this, this makes total sense when you think about it, um, we've all had people you know, hit us up and say, hey, we can get you reviews for your website or fake reviews. Um, and even if you go down that route, which is against Google policy, but if you go down that route and you say, hey, give me 50 reviews, and you get 50 reviews over a day um, or in two days, right? And you're a, you know, kitchen contractor. That just really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It doesn't make sense that a kitchen contractor is going to have 500 reviews or 50 reviews within a week because those jobs take a really long time, right? Versus someone who does maybe can do five, 10 jobs a day. That's going to be a little more natural to, to get two or three reviews a day for that type of business. Now, Google understands that and knows that. Um, so sustained growth is going to help you out, right? So you know, getting a review a day, getting, you know, a review a week for different types of niches are much better than saying, okay, I'm going to slam everybody at the end of the month to try to get 10 reviews and I'm going to get all the 10 reviews for all the jobs I did. It's better to do it on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, and to keep that, you know, 
momentum going forward, right? Another thing that was interesting was the internal linking to the GPP landing page or the site, right? Again, local listings, local local businesses, things like that is proving to be more and more important. So relevant links pointing to your website that your Google business profile is pointing to um, has moved up as an important ranking factor. Um, so another thing is, again, proximity to the address uh, that, that Google business was you know, built on and verified on. So proximity to the address has gone up. So again, further away you are, the harder it's going to be to rank. Not that it's impossible. You're going to have to utilize all those other factors, but the harder it is to rank. Um, and then also on your website, having dedicated service pages has become more important. So instead of just having a landing page with, you know, a couple contact us page and a thank you page, having dedicated service pages shows Google that, you know, you do that specific, specific type of service. Google is really focused on user, um, you know, user, I guess, health or something like that, where, where the user is going to get the best possible results from the search. So, you know, if you are a, you know, tree service and you focus on transplanting trees, if you have a page dedicated to transplanting of trees, you're going to show up better for that keyword versus a, another company that does that but does not have a service page for that, right? Um, and it doesn't have to be a 1,000 words or 1,500 words. Just build out a service page for that sp particular service that you do. Um, and Google's going to make you relevant, more relevant than the person or the tree care that made tree care company that does that but doesn't list it on their website. That's important. Um, next, uh, some of the things that have gone down in importance, right, over the last year uh, is link factors, right? Um, you know, a couple of years ago, everything was about, hey, trust flow, DA, um, URL authority, things like that. That's That has gone down a little bit, right? It's still an important factor, but Google's looking at, again, like relevant links that are pointing back, local links, um, links that are, you know, connected with your business. So if you're a tree care company, and your tree care was featured in a blog article, that's a relevant link, right? It's pointing back to your site. It's, an, it's another tree company talking about your tree service. That's a relevant link. Uh, a local link from a chamber of commerce, you know, or a local directory. If you have a local business directory in your city, that is going to be an important, you know, link, right? So that has kind of gone down as far as the trust and the DA authority of just random links, right? pointing to your site. So it's not really about the quality of a non-relative link more than it is about the relative link pointing back to your site. Um, another thing that I found interesting was the keywords in Google reviews. They, they say that they found a, a, a drop in importance, right? So, you know, getting reviews are important. Getting reviews are going to lead to conversion, but having those reviews have keywords in them are less important than it used to be. So, um, you know, don't sweat over having to get a keyword in every single review. Um, also, the decrease as is the keywords in the responses, right? Responses are still important. Why? Because it's showing Google that you are staying consistent with your business and constantly updating it. But it's also important for conversion when a customer is choosing to pick you over the competitor. If you're responding to reviews, both good reviews and bad reviews, um, you're more than likely going to get a chance to bid out that job, to, to grab that job. Um, so that's important. Okay, so that really is it in a nutshell. If you want to check out the actual where I got this information, I'm going to put a link down in the description. But also, if you need help with your business, if you need help with your local map listing or a website, um, go ahead and reach out to me. I'd be glad to take a look at your business. I'd be glad to take a look at your market. Um, to see how competitive you have to be in order to you know, generate you some business. Um, the Google business profile is a, is a great tool from Google. Um, and if it's utilized correctly, it can save you thousands of dollars um, a month, uh, tens of thousands of dollars a year. It can absolutely help your business grow. Um, I own a few different businesses and we utilize Google Maps for 99% of our business. Um, and... I use the same strategies that I use for that business to generate me hundreds of phone calls and hundreds of jobs a month. For my own business, 
I utilize that to help other businesses as well. So take whatever information you have from this, you know, use it, spread the word. If you have an SEO guy already, or if you have somebody working on your stuff, share this video with them, let them go look at that report. So at least they are up to date on the newest thing so that they're not maybe spinning their wheels on certain things that aren't as important as they used to be. So make sure that you stay up to date on all this stuff. Uh, and again, if you need any help, if you'd like me to take a look at your business, just give me a shout. I'd be glad to do it. Uh, and I hope to talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.